Hello, I work to train symphiatic. This is another part of my models for the end of my layout uh, section. Today I'm actually starting on the lighting for it. What you, in what you see in front of you is for uh, lighting I'll be using for buildings. This is LED strip lighting which you can cut into blocks of threes and it's powered by 12 volts I'll just quickly power it with a 9 volt battery just to show you that it does work I got two rolls of this because it worked out cheaper to buy two than one and I'll be showing you what I do to get this ready for my layout the way I'm currently powering it is through the standard uh, barrel socket but um, I'll show you how I will be uh, powering it, uh, how to cut it and prep it, and hopefully I'll get to put it in a few buildings, at least a, a few rooms in the building. So I'll take you up into the attic in a moment and show you all the stuff I do with the wiring, wiring it up. And for those who've been wondering what's been keeping me with getting this project done, it's this wire here. I ran out of this. I use purple and brown for my 12 volt system. I can't remember which one I use for positive and negative, but I do have it written down on the layout, so it's at hand to use. Uh, in another episode at some point in the future I'll actually go through the complete wiring on my layout but that's an episode in the future so I'll pause now and take you up into the attic okay I'm now up in the attic you've got markings just there to cut it the first one I'll use this adapter so you just get to general power scissors and then just cut where it says to cut like so make sure not to lose a bit that you've done then your next job you need to do is just solder on these two blobs and attach a wire okay on this you can see a plus and a minus and then you've got the same on the other side I'm using brown for positive and purple for neutral. I can remember brown because that's what colour your pants turn if you hit life. So brown and purple. Just quickly touch these two with a, a soldering iron and solder just to quickly tin it. Make sure to wear, follow all safety instructions on for the soldering iron as it's a dangerous tool and to be used safely. So you just quickly load a bit of solder on here. So you just put two little dubs of solder on there. So you place, hold one wire there and then just touch it with the soldering iron. Okay, I've now soldered the wires onto it. What I have done with the wires is twisted it to make it easy to follow the wire. And actually on the cable, you've got your in out. I mean on the LED, you've got your power connection then you've got three LEDs and a resistor do not cut on the white section just cut where it say you can cut and now this is ready for placing in the model I do apologize about cutting after I did the first one but I don't want to show you two bits of soldering also I know my method might not be the best but it's a way that worked for me 
I'm now back downstairs and this is one of the buildings which have got the painted windows and the blacked out windows so I've been quite busy and made up three of these fit and femme it's actually quite easy but to make it a bit harder first time I started to use these not this make as this is the first time I've used this make I found that they started to fall off the reef after quite uh, after a little while. So what I now do is remove the sticky back, hold it in place, and also put a bit of yuhu glue on it. So I'll show you what I, how I do it in a second, but I'll quickly show you the wires. You've got brown and blue, all the lights which I showed you. And then on the back you have got a double sided tape fitted to it. This is the back of a building. I'll put the first light in this building, this building, this building. But first thing I need to do is just double check that it will fit and it will quite nicely. So I start off by removing the double sided tape. I'll just do one uh, room and then uh then show you what it looked like with a bit of blue peter magic so remove the double sided tape just put a small line of glue on there and like normal i need to fill up the bottle but uh, just put a bit of glue on there give me a second while i swap glue bottles okay I just got neat to you who so just put a few drops just a little covering on there just as an additional thing try not to make a mess then you just place it up on the reef. It starts off being held by the first glue and then the second glue hold it. The first light is now actually in. Now to just find out which wire does it. It's not that one. I'm just powering it from a 9 volt battery at the moment. And if I can get to good contact, I can't quite get to good contact that way, so let's do it this way, or even this way. So that's one of the rooms lit. which actually look quite decent. So I'll gradually go through light of the rest of the buildings and then do a big reveal when I show you what I've been doing for the rest of the end of the layout, which will be a few weeks yet. I've still got a few more projects on that. So with that light in for the end of the video, I would like to say thank you for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, comment and share and there's videos at the end of the video to click on to see what's been happening and also button to subscribe. So see you next time, thank you very much for, Richard. Thank you very much for watching, Richard.